bitching post, motherfucker, what? I got strangled. I'm wearing this in um, honor of Will from Days of Our Lives That Just Died. I just watched it now and uh, yeah, kill Will. Will is dead. And I want to say, um, na, 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 na. I just want to say Robert Scott Wilson did a great job portraying Ben, the killer, the red necktie killer of Salem, so he did good. Uh, he plays crazy really well. Guy Wilson, he, he playing the part of Will, he died pretty well. I, okay, the only thing I, I noticed was that uh, Will had a very raspy voice, and I heard by rumors on Twitter that it was because he did like a whole bunch of strangulation takes like he just they did it too many times and he couldn't get it right and so that's why he had but really maybe he had like a cold or or like laryngitis or something I don't know but speaking of Twitter I want to make a shout out to uh, two users especially that I follow for days uh, live tweeting that's what they do Days Cafe, I want to give a shout out to you, and DRI Dreamer, I think it's DRI. Sometimes I can't tell if the I is an I or a one, but I think it's an I. So yeah, DRI Dreamer and uh, Days Cafe, what's up? I want to give a shout out to you guys because you both are really good at live tweeting and I kind of look at that while I'm at work because it's just too hard for me to watch the show. I don't get to see it live. I don't get to see it when it airs because well, I'm working and my lunch hour <laughs> happens at 12 to 1. And for some strange reason, in Corpus in Texas, they air it here at 12.30 to 1.30. And I don't know why they do that. I wish that they wouldn't do that. I wish they would just show it like at 12 like they always do, but they show the local news at 12. And I don't know why. They show the news too many times. You know, they show it in the morning, they show it at 9, they show it in the afternoon, they show it at 5, they show it at 6. It's like, and then at 10, they don't need to show it at noon time. Like, I wish that they just wouldn't do that. Just, I don't know if it's a complaint too. But yeah, I don't get to see it during the day so I have to rely on YouTube videos or I'll get on the site and watch it on NBC but it, that's usually a hassle so I don't know it's just I watched it just a while ago and it was uh, pretty intense now if I have anything to bitch about from what happened the Salem PD is not gonna catch him I know they're not because they're incompetent you know how I know? Because Hope right now is dating a con artist guy who she can't even tell. She can't, what is wrong with her? She's got, she's a detective and she, she doesn't have the skills to realize and notice that the guy is shady. Like everybody else knows, you know, us as viewers, we know. And so I just want to, I want to choke Hope. I want to just like you are a detective you're supposed to know that the guy you're messing around with is you know shady how can she not see that so yeah they're not gonna they're I'm pretty sure they're not gonna figure it out that it was Ben even though he put all his fingerprints everywhere on everything so that's kind of like a dead giveaway guy if you're gonna kill somebody if you're gonna kill somebody, if, I guess because it's a set proper, it doesn't matter. But yeah, he, he, I watch Criminal Minds. I see those shows. They, they put all kinds of DNA all over the place. If you're not wearing gloves, you know what I mean? This, this guy just did it so randomly. He just like attacked him out of nowhere. And uh, and then, okay, I think, and that's this is another rumor that was going around on Twitter, that Ben, probably had a crush on Will because he kind of like just laid there and cried and 
tried to reach for him. He left his hand there after he strangled him. I read that it was that he was touching him, but I don't think he was. But I, I think that's just rumors. But it would have been a cool rumor if he had a crush on him, if he was in Ben's like secretly in the closet. He's already, I'm sorry to say this, but he's already very really metro. He's got the waxy brows going on. Very, very built, you know, but I don't know. Now, now I'm just I'm going off track. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, wrap my head around what, how is he gonna pin this? I don't know what he's gonna do. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be crazy. Because really, Chad, if he's pinning everything on Chad because he wants everyone to think it's Chad, Chad has no motive to kill Will. And so he didn't even think that out. He just like, very, okay. But I'm thinking Ben's been doing this before because he came from different places. He just came from Florida, and before that he was in Houston, and then before that he was in Popular Bluff or whatever they call that podunk place that they came from. I think that he's always been killing. I think he's been leaving trails of death everywhere this kid goes. And I want to know if his sister was aware that her brother was a loon. Because, you know, how can he, how could she not know? I think the dad knows. I think Clyde is in on it. I think he knows that Ben is unstable because he was always telling him to calm down. He was like, calm down, son, calm down. For him to say that constantly to him, I think he knows that he snaps. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been covering up for him. Uh, didn't they have like a Florida a case of the murder over there? So they're, they're trying to tie it in and I'm thinking that's what the writers are going to do. I think they're going to tie it in that way. Because a guy just don't start killing. I mean, this guy's been doing it. He's good at it. So he's been doing it for a while. He's got it down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And uh, oh, and so I just saw also the preview for the upcoming week, and he's gonna he's gonna attack Chad. They're gonna have a squabble in his apartment, and Chad's gonna call him out, and say it's you, and and then uh, Ben's gonna freak out and start fighting him, and he's gonna hurt his eye because he's gonna get all bloody. And they're gonna put him in the in the hospital, and he's gonna have a patch on his beautiful blue eye. And I don't I don't like that. That kind of got me mad. I believe his eye is alone. So I just hope that you know I know he's probably gonna kill more people. Oh, another rumor I heard was that Sammy. So she's coming back. She's gonna make a big overacting deal where she like she normally like she usually does. She's probably gonna cry and scream and she's gonna like drape over his dead body in the morgue and she's just gonna awkwardly hug him. And then later on she's gonna make this big long elaborate speech about how he was her pride and joy and oh Will, I'll never be the same now that you're gone. You know, yet she's gonna be very anxious to find out where, where EJ is if she finds out that he's alive. So she's gonna forget all about Will. But when she's in the middle of mourning Will, the rumors the rumors that I heard is that she's going to go on a killing spree. And she's just going to start killing people left and right. I don't know if that's true. I don't really know. But if it's true, then that kind of that kind of makes sense why Andre would uh, kidnap her and settle her down. Like, enough. Don't start killing everybody. If that's what happens, I don't really know. But I know he's going to kidnap her. And she's gonna cry and scream and do her Sammy scream. She's gonna do the banshee. She's gonna do. She's gonna do the banshee Sammy scream. And I'm not looking forward to that. I just. It's been so peaceful with her gone. I kind of dread her return. I understand she's got to come back. You know, but really, does she? I don't think Shane came back for Paige's funeral. I don't think Kimberly was there. You know, I, I don't think she really needed to be there. I don't even think the kids are coming. What is she doing? Just leaving them in Hollywood while she comes back to, to mourn her firstborn son. The one that I feel the worst about for all this is, is Lucas. Lucas gets the short end of the stick forever and for always. Like, I don't even know why. So he's going to be real sad, and I'm going to feel sad for him. But, okay, 
As far as death scenes go, it was pretty good. I liked how they filmed it. I liked how they they put it together. I just didn't feel anything for Will, other than you know I was I felt kind of sad for him, but I didn't cry. I heard some people were crying, <laughs> but I guess they were crying because they were picturing Chandler Macy in that in the role because he's the one that made the role better. He's the one that made that character what it was. But he's gone now, so I kind of pictured that when I saw him. Yeah, lying there. But why, what, was he really sick? Like, how come Will, Will plays basketball, right? I mean, he does, like, activities, doesn't he? Why couldn't he at least try to kick him? Try to rack him in the balls? Why couldn't he try to, you know, do anything other than lie there and take it? But I don't know. That's why I think he might have had a cold, you know, the character even though he did, probably for real, have something wrong. I mean, his voice was so, uh, that's kind of, that's the cool rumor, is that he, <laughs> is that they took so many takes, that he just kept getting strangled and strangled until he just couldn't, like, his voice went away. I, I, like, to, I like to believe in that one. I'm a mean person. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. No, but anyway, yeah, uh, Will. All I have to say, I will not miss those Mr. Rogers sweaters that you wore. 